Continuing to field questions for you, Samili. I have a student asking from within our Telegram group, says he's a year out from the step one. I know many of you are going to be four months out, two months out, maybe even weeks out from the exam, okay? Student wants to know how to ace the step one. Clearly, it's a pass-fail exam, okay? So the notion of what the student is driving at is how do we get you maximal score augmentation on the step one when you're not necessarily in dedicated, okay? Just what are some core resources you need, some general important points so that we can get your scores up. Give you a very fucking clean and consolidated answer here. So before we get started, please subscribe to my channel. I really appreciate it. Give the video a like. I really appreciate it. Find me on Instagram at melman underscore medical, M-E-H-L-M-A-N underscore medical. Links down below. Find me on Telegram. Links to the Telegram group channel down below. Now start the clip. So students asking about how to ace the step one, obviously, pass fail exam. I know many of you watching this clip are going to be at varying uh, lengths of time from the exam. I've made numerous clips uh, discussing this, which if I attempt to uh, make this uh, short talk, it's going to be number one, UWorld. That's not dramatic. That's not crazy. Okay. There's going to be four things you need. The first is UWorld. I want you going through all of it. I don't want you shortchanging it, okay? There's a time and place for curtailing you world. If your school says fuck you, you have to sit the step in three and a half weeks. You're clearly not going to have enough time to finish all the QBank if you haven't yet. So there can be certain circumstances you are confined to in which you're not going to be able to finish you world. But if it's a scenario where you think your scores are good enough and you say, well, do I really need to finish all you world? I could just sit a few NVMEs and take the step one. My response is, I want you to do all of you world. And the objective reason is because the best prep for 2CK, which you're eventually going to have to ace, is solid step one prep. Okay, You're not wasting your time. You're actually co-studying for 2CK without realizing it. Sure, there'll be molecular, embryological nonsense questions that won't carry over to 2CK necessarily, but... Aortic regurge on step one is still aortic regurge on 2CK. So you need to know your concepts. Recognize that uh, going through all of you world for step one will give you a score augmentation on 2CK. So I think that's a smart decision going through all of you world if you're able to. So I said there's four things. That's the first thing you're going to do all of you world. The second is you're going to do NBMEs 20 through 30 for step one as well as free 120. Okay. If you're studying for 2CK, it's going to be NBMEs 6 through 12 as well as all the clinical mastery series forms and free 120. So for step one, after you finish your world, you're going to do NBMEs 20 through 24 offline, free 120, 25 through 30, and then you sit. For 2CK, you're going to finish all your world. Assuming you're a post-grad, okay, you're not on rotations. Obviously, it's a long fucking discussion, but if you're a post-grad, you finish all your world. You do three weeks of the clinical mastery series forms. There's 44 forms. So you do two forms per day. It's 22 days, three-ish weeks. So you do your world, all the CMS forms. Then you're going to do offline MBMEs 6 through 8, free 120. You're going to do a double pass of all the clinical master series forms another three weeks. You're going to do online MBMEs 9 through 12, and you'll sit the 2CK. Now, so we have UWorld so far. We have all the NBME content you're going to need to do. And I want the third thing is my free high yield PDFs. Okay. For step one, the most paramount uh, PDF is high yield arrows. Okay. Highly specific. It will rule in you passing the step one if you know that PDF very well. For 2CK, obviously, I have. PEDS, OBS and guidance, surgery, PDFs, etc. So go through my free high yield PDFs on my website. I'll link them below, okay? And the fourth thing is my audio cube bank here on the YouTube. If you actually go into my playlists here on the YouTube, you'll see I've made pharmacology playlists, micro playlists, surgery playlists, okay? And you can go through those questions passively, okay, while you're at the gym, cooking, cleaning, while you're brushing your teeth, flossing. You just have the phone right there on the tabletop, countertop, and you're just listening to the questions. Very fucking excellent high yield resource for us simile okay i've had a, received a lot of positive feedback from students that subjective type of review but just objectively i fucking know they're excellent okay so your tetrad is going to be you world it's going to be all the nbme content the cms content if you're saying for 2ck the cms content's added in there number three is my free high yield pdfs number four is the audio cube bank here on the youtube you know the deal makes you make more content if you like my stuff subscribe my channel and i appreciate your time that's it